Hello, my name is Corey, and this is Whole Views. I'm here to give you a real quick review of Bad Boys 3, Bad Boys for Life. So, uh, before we get started, I just want to tell everybody, you know, subscribe to the video, like the video if you like the video. If you don't like the video, please drop an email to the email that's going to flash below, what to watch 337 at gmail.com. Um, I'm just here to, you know, give you my quick thoughts, because to be honest with you, if you're familiar with the franchise of Bad Boys, then... There's nothing I can do to persuade you or dissuade you from watching it. So, let me get into it. I have to say, uh, Bad Boys 3 was highly impressive to me. I feel like it hit all the things that it had to hit to be a good film. If this would have been Martin coming back without Will, or if this would have been Will coming back without Martin, then you definitely have problems. But because you have a film with both of the original stars from the original franchise coming back, after so long of a break and really just stepping right back into the characters that we already know and love the acting wise they didn't have to do that much they just had to be the same characters that they were the last time that they did it and they were very faithful to the original uh two films in the franchise and you can tell that they plant seeds in this one to continue making a moving forward in fact bad boys 4 is already in production as we speak so this film is very very well paced um, surprisingly, there's a lot of shockers. Like, I, you know, there's there's moments in the trailer where, like, you see it happening, and then you see it happening in the film, and then it goes a certain way where it's like, wow, I didn't, I didn't expect y'all to do this. I, I didn't think that this film could surprise me with twists and turns, but it does, and it does it very well. Um, I love everyone who was cast in this, um, but you know, Martin and Will basically carry the film. There's really no criticism that I can give it, uh, quite honestly. I have to say, um, it's not an Oscar-winning movie, and I'm not trying to say, like, oh, it has to be that. But I know that there's the artsy crowd that look at Bad Boys and say, oh, well, it's a movie, you know, people like it. No, I loved it because it was so entertaining. Um, a lot of action, um, a lot of shootouts the stunt work was great i saw a little bit of behind the films that will release on social media because he's so active and uh that was impressive and there's not a there's not an element to the film that i can look at it and say oh i'm gonna criticize it because of this like no i can't i can't think of any criticisms this was just a very good all around very fun very entertaining film so with that being said if i had to give it a score i would i would call it a 10 out of 10 not because it was an all world all amazing of a film it just was i was locked in and engaged and entertained from start to finish so that's a big deal and you don't get that with every action movie or with every film that you're going to see so big kudos to will smith and martin lawrence for uh doing it real big this time around i can't complain <sighs> christian worldview time i have to say this to the christians who are hardcore and you don't want to see no cursing you don't want to see no blood you don't want nothing too violent this may not be for you but i beg you to please get past the cursing in this film or the violence in this film because it is so good it is so entertaining um i don't think that there's anything here that could cause a person to sway or stumble to be quite honest with you there's quite a few religious moments or spiritual moments however you want to categorize it there's a lot of those moments in this film and they make for the most heartfelt moments that you just don't expect um they make for the funniest moments that i was kind of warned about a person told me like oh there's a joke in there like man you may not you may you may or may not like it Whew. man it was funny um the joke in particular references the bible and, and god and it's like and when it hit, I went with a friend from church, and as we watched it, like we started hitting each other, like man, they doing the thing, and it was just so fun. Um, I actually, at the part that I'm speaking of, and I'm sure it's gonna hit with anybody who goes to church or knows God or reads their Bible, or even if you don't, um, that moment, it's a big moment about midway through the film, a little bit closer toward the end of the middle, if that makes sense. But when that moment hits. I cried laughing like I I laugh until I cry and it was something else so um 
I understand that, you know, the, the existence of cursing and such, and, and that might be an issue in certain people's homes. And, you know, I, I hope that you can get past it because if you can, you're in for a treat of a film that has some heart. Uh, it has a lot of humor, uh, has a whole lot of action. And uh, again, the spiritual elements like you, I, I don't want to over overstate it, make it seem like it's bigger than what it is, but um, you know, not being a person who was saved my whole life, I can see a part of myself in the Martin Lawrence character before uh, finding the Lord or the Lord finding me, however you want to say it. So um, I just thought it was real good. There's nothing bad about it as far as like uh, outside of the cursing and the violence. So I guess there's something bad about it. But anyway, I enjoyed it. You know, um, born again believer enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't bring my kids, you know. But if we got teenagers out there, you know, I, I think they'd be all right. I think they'd be fine to come check this out. And uh, my wife is actually junkie. She didn't come with me this time, but she's going to come. I'll see it again and I will enjoy it again and she will enjoy it for the first rip so uh, that's all I have here uh, enjoy yourself guard your heart and please come back and see me